Now we're going to adjust the bottle matic for different size containers. If you have a straight sided container like this or a straight sided wine bottle such as this over here, you want to make sure that your blocks are even on both sides. So you have the even number of holes on this side exposed as you do over here. The actual width between the rollers isn't critical. The idea is you just want the container to sit stably inside the machine. So in this, for this particular container, this is pretty decent. Another thing you want to make sure is you don't have it too far apart, like this, and the container sets so low in the machine that the label can actually skip up in front of the container. If that ever happens, always check, number one, that you have the label threaded between the two plates, and number two, your container isn't sitting so far down. So for this size container, a good position would be about the third hole from the rubber roller. So there's the first hole, that's all the way forward. And now we're going to move it back to the second and third hole. Again, make sure you're even on both sides. We'll set that in there, that'll be pretty stable, especially once we put the pressure arm on. Now if we're going to the wine bottle, it's a little bit bigger in diameter and it really isn't very stable with them being that close together. So we're going to go on out to probably the fifth hole. So there's the fifth hole. Now the wine bottle is pretty stable in there. You really don't even need to use the pressure arm with it. Well with the tapered bottle, we may need to adjust so the labels go on straight, one side of the roller further forward than the other. And also we have half adjustments. So is what that means, the spacing between these two holes is exactly one and a half times the spacing of the bracket down below. This allows us to fine adjust one side or the other to get the taper required to put the labels on straight. There's no real scientific formula for putting the labels on straight. It really has everything to do with number one, the taper of the bottle, and number two, how long your labels are. Setting the bottle guide is a very straightforward process. If you have a taper container like this one, you want to set the guide so that it goes on the side of the container with the widest portion of the taper. So if you're tapering large on the left to small on the right, you want the bottle guide on the left side. That way, as the label is being applied, the bottle doesn't move across the machine. And you simply just move the bottle over until the labels are in the desired position lock the bottle guide down, and you're ready to go.